Welcome to Prime Automation. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the dashboard, the central hub where you can monitor balances, manage your bots and track your trading activity. By the end, you'll know exactly how to navigate each section and use it effectively. At the top of the dashboard, you'll see your account metrics. This includes your total balance broken down by account type. For example, the margin account shows funds available for equities like Apple or Nvidia, while the futures account shows balances for futures instruments such as NQ or MNQ. This is divided in the ring here by category and you can toggle between live accounts and simulated accounts. You can also switch between exchanges or view them all together. To the side you'll find your daily profit and loss tracker. This section displays green bars for your profits over time giving you a quick visual of your performance. You can adjust the time frame to see short term or long term results. Next we move to your bots overview. Bots are displayed with key details including investments per trade. This is the amount allocated each time the bot executes a trade, number of trades, how many trades that bot has taken, leverage, what amount of leverage is being used, exchange, what exchange is being automated, AI, if the strategy is AI, start date, when the bot was activated, account type, whether the bot is running live or simulated, and open trades, showing if the bot currently has active positions. The showing information can vary depending on the bot type, whether it's a crypto, stock, trade station, etc. You can also switch between card view and list view, Card view gives you a more visual layout of each bot, while list view organizes everything into a compact table. Now bots can also be paused by clicking this button here. However, keep in mind if a bot is paused while it has an open trade, that trade will not automatically close. So it's always important to check your exchange before pausing or deleting bots, which you can also do just down here to avoid leaving positions unmanaged. Clicking view and edit on a bot gives you a detailed breakdown of all the trades and the bot's performance. At the top Top, you'll see the bot's ROI, the average win, the win rate, total trades and other key metrics. Closed trades are displayed like an order history, similar to what you'd see on an exchange, making it easy to track execution details. From here, you can also edit each bot. Preset bots allow you to adjust only three fields, the API source, the trade amount and the subscription status, active or inactive. The trade amount inputs can vary. Some bots will have an amount per trade, whereas some bots you'll need to choose the amount per position which is the total bot capital since there are multiple entries per position. Custom bots offer more in-depth controls but these are covered separately in a different video. Below the bots section you'll find the active trades panel. This displays all trades currently running including the bot name, exchange and trade details. Clicking on the bots name brings you to its dedicated page for more insight. Right next to this the closed trades panel lists all recently finished trades including whether they were successful or failed. The status column is particularly important for troubleshooting. If a trade fails, the dashboard shows a reason code such as no position to close, trade size being too small, or a manual position being closed before the bot could act. These codes help you quickly identify why a trade didn't execute as expected. Together, these sections make the dashboard a powerful command center for automated trading. You can track your funds, monitor bot performance, and troubleshoot issues all in one place. And that concludes the Prime Automation dashboard walkthrough. You are now ready to manage your bots confidently, monitor results, and optimize your automated trading experience.